practice for today on my JJRC X6 Tarantula I'm going to be switching the um, bronze bearings out and installing some ball bearing racers. Now hopefully what this is going to do is, is it's going to reduce the friction on the drive shafts which should increase um, the motor's um, lifespan and also it may increase your battery life ever so slightly that's what I've been told but I don't know whether that's true but if it will increase the um, life of the uh, motors uh, that's a good start anyway so yeah so we're going to see how easy this is I haven't taken one of these apart before so let's see how easy it is to do Right, so we're going to start with taking the um, prop off. So, as you already know, it's just one screw on the side of the prop. And just pull it off. And so it's that simple to get the um, the drive shaft out. And then your bronze bushing is just there. And then you've got one underneath here as well. I'll put a link in the description to where I got these ball bearing racers from, just in case anybody's interested. But uh, the way to get them out is just to use the drive shaft itself, put it in there, and just point it slightly so you can get an just a slight angle on it and then push them out. And there we go. And the same for the top one. You could always use a small screwdriver to do this as well. So they're taken out. You need eight of these um, races in total. Right, I've got two. They do fit slightly loose. Um, on the RC forums it says to just use a small screwdriver and to go around the plastic and just put like four little indents just to hold the race in place because if the whole race starts to spin it's going to heat the plastic up and it's going to make this um, where the bearing sits larger so then you're going to have some problems so I'm just going to use a flathead screwdriver and then just go in and just, uh, just make some light little dimples to hold the race in place so it won't slip out and hopefully it won't turn when it's under power. And uh, hopefully that won't pop out. No, that's well in there. And that shouldn't spin. Now I'll just do the bottom one. So we'll do the same again. Just uh, some little dimples around the edge. Just make sure that it's not going to easily push out. And 
No, that's one in there. Already it seems to be. Seems to be a lot less friction there, so. And then just reassemble it. This is probably the most difficult bit, getting the actual um, hole lined up again. <laughs> Just a matter of putting the screw back in to hold the prop on so the prop don't fly off and you're done. <coughs> it's uh, that simple. Right, so I'll put a link in the description. You need uh, two ball bearing races for each drive shaft so that's um, eight in total uh, please comment and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like this video thanks very much bye